Hi creative friends, it's Letitia Finder and I am back. I know it has been a little while, but I wanted to add a little voiceover to this video because I'm trying out some new software. Uh, I only have my iPad to work on currently until I get my computer back. So I'm testing this out and I hope it, it goes well, but it looks like it's gonna work. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to, to let you guys know what I was doing with this because I had a lot of fun with this. This was a fun experiment for me. Um, I'm learning how to use Procreate, first of all. Uh, digital art isn't something that I am well versed in. It, I'm mostly self-taught. I did have a class uh, while I was in art school that was a digital art class, but w it wasn't very in-depth. That We didn't do a whole lot of work with it, and it was, it was so new to me that I, I kind of just picked up very basic things which was great because it's what I needed to get myself started and going and I've fallen in love with it. So as you can see here, I'm, I'm just, I was playing around. I started off with a sketch that I had on paper from my sketchbook that I did a while ago and I knew I wanted to create something with this sketch and I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do and then I decided, well, why not throw it in to Procreate and play around with it and see what it becomes. So basically it was this face facial gesture, this, this expression, facial gesture, <laughs> this, this expression that uh, I just, I thought was great and it was really interesting and fun to play around with so I wanted to take that and add some more depth to it and I wanted, to, I wanted obviously to do it in my style, the colors I use and, and the fun style I have, then I wanted to adjust that a bit. I've been wanting to add elements or more realistic elements into my work uh, more recently and so I've been practicing with that and to do that on on a, a platform or on a, on software or on the iPad which I'm not used to doing is an added so I was having a lot of fun with this and part of the reason was I was challenging myself with specific parameters uh, I wanted to add these these little details and these more realistic elements I wanted to ensure I was paying attention to the lighting and the colors and I wanted to add more depth and I wanted to do so in a more realistic way and you'll find often uh, when you look at paintings that many painters don't use a pure black when they're creating and this is something I've, I've always wanted to incorporate more into my work and I have over the years if you go back and watch uh, some of my videos I have talked about it before uh, I'm thinking specifically of the one where the it's a watercolor painting where the woman is underwater uh, I know I did that I, that was probably the first time I started incorporating that into my work and I've been wanting to continue on with it and I have um, so the added challenge of doing this in a more realistic style as I'm changing changing my style slightly and adopting my style as I grow and as I change as an artist, uh, which many of us do, it, it just kind of naturally happens. Um, yeah, it, it's been an interesting uh, experiment to do that, not only in a different medium with Procreate digitally, um, but also with this, this slight change in style. So I, I've, I had a lot of fun with it. I think it turned out really well. I'm happy with it. I did play around quite a bit with the background as you'll see in the video. Um, I definitely see a few more things I, I'd like to change or improve on as we all do and that's how we grow. So that it's good that I'm seeing that. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. This piece is called She Knows and it's available on my Society6 shop and I'll leave the link down below but it's just society6.com backslash Letitia Finder. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you next time creative friends.